I thought, just to remind you, we'll do a split at, um, for Saturday night for the game on Sunday, but I'll call it out and I'll ask the cameras to stop then. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, huge blow. Um, we really wanted to go through and, and fight in the competition and and go for it and um, and today we tried we tried for 120 minutes and the penalties and um, it wasn't enough so first of all congratulations to Sporting Lisbon for going through um, looking at ourselves the game started um, difficult for us obviously we lost Tommy very early in the game then we lost Saliba and that left us with a really difficult game management because we only had a window to, to make the subs and a few players could not play in 90 minutes but still we didn't find our rhythm and our flow um, allowed too many spaces we were late and, and don't win enough duels there and then we gave the ball away many many times sometimes time after time and then the last 20 minutes we got, we got the flow we got the momentum we got into the final third much more we created three big chances and we didn't score and um, I think when we went to the extra time we showed incredible energy again and and top mentality when it was in our best day to keep going and we had another two big chances, um, we didn't win and, and at the end it comes to the penalties, it's a lottery and today it didn't go our way. Put your mic a little bit closer to the microphone, please. Thank you, sorry about that. Michael, you mentioned a couple of the injuries and nuts there. We saw quite a few guys got nuts there, um, nuts there but especially Tony Yasu and Saliba. I know it's still quite early, but can you say anything about how likely they are for the weekend yet? I don't know, Tomeyasu looks pretty serious uh, for his reaction straight away and, and what he said to me, but obviously it's, it's very early and very difficult to know. Morning. Sorry? Saliba? Well, I don't know. There wasn't, he had some discomfort and um, he could not carry on, so we had to take him out. Can. Mikhail, just, I know obviously it's a low in terms of being knocked out of the position, but... Given the injuries and several players look to be kind of limping or struggling towards the end, just how kind of worried are you that this could be have lasting damage? You know, heading into big games in the Premier League with the injuries you picked up. I don't know. We've been carrying injuries throughout the season. Uh, we had uh, Emil out for four months. We have Gabriel Jesus out for four months. We have Alex for two and a half months. We have Thomas for a month and a half. We have Eddie for a month and a half. We had uh, quite a lot of injuries already, but uh, we dealt with that. Um, the disappointment is not going to go away. The disappointment is, is there now, but it brings clarity. It's 11 games to play now, 11 Premier League games, and, uh, and we have a final. The first final is against Crystal Palace, and we have to recover, put all the energy there, uh, and all the focus there, and play better than today, put the same effort as today, and, um, and win it. Okay. Mikel Gabriel made Zeus look sharp in the first half. Was the plan to bring him on? Yeah. Zeus yeah. so never going to play more. Uh, and we decided to do that because we had to manage the shops. And uh, thanks God that we took him out, especially after the, the two windows that we had to use in the first half. But, um, but that was the plan. Um, and Leo is coming from an injury as well. So we knew that the game could go to extra time. But we had to manage that. And um, yeah, he, he looked OK. Um, Mikel, they're unfortunate uh, to you know, crash out the tournament that way. The team's in a very unique position where you are in um, locked in with Man City for the league. So unfortunate, given the fixture congestion with the World Cup and everything, could it potentially be a blessing in disguise where you can focus more? On I cannot see it today <laughs> that way. Um, I don't know. You go through the competition, you win. It is magnificent. If it's not and affects your plans in the league, that's a different story. But uh, it's. We wanted to go through and we put everything and, and the effort that the boys put when it wasn't our best day, individual and collectively, the hunger and that desire that it showed to win, the way they were tracking back, it was incredible. They really wanted it and, and today it didn't happen. So we need to put the head up and now look for Palace is what it is. It's 11 games, the first one starts uh, on Sunday. Charles. The team come out, overcome so many psychological hurdles this season. How is Gabby Martinelli and how do you think he'll react to disappointment like that? He will react well. Obviously disappointed today. We all are. Um, when you take those decisions, that possibility is always there. He will learn from it like Bukayo did in the past and, um, and move on. How, how important is it now that you 
pick, you don't let the players sort of wallow in this because they can't afford to, can they? There's so, there's so much at stake. You can't afford to let this sort of hang over into the Premier League. No, is we gave everything, you know. It wasn't our day, we were not our best individual and collectively, but they absolutely gave every drop of effort that they could on, on that pitch and um, and it wasn't enough. But uh, if we do things better than what we've done today on, on Sunday, we'll have a big chance to win the game. What was the immediate message in the, in the change room there by you or from the players themselves? No, they just uh, that, that we are all disappointed and... We have to look at ourselves, uh, things that we have to do better to have be- bigger margins to win the game and don't rely on the last 20 minutes or, or an extra time on a penalty shootout to, to go through in the competition. And, but the, that now the 11 games that we have is, is the focus, the only focus that we have. And everybody thinking about one thing, that is Palace being the best mental and physical condition, a lot of clarity and all the energy is there for Sunday. OK, that's it on tonight's game. we now just do a few questions to preview Crystal Palace on Sunday. 10.30 Saturday night embargo. If we can turn the cameras off, please. <laughs>